Okay, update on Yam Honda CT125 project. Unfortunately, it has to have had to have the engine removed because I couldn't get the uh, top off the motor. It doesn't clear the frame, and in order to do that, all of the goodies, so to speak, have to be removed off the motorbike and the back wheel. So, which wasn't a bad thing because I did find a few little issues which aren't really major, but in saying that, if you're riding down the road and your chain comes off because this thing's really loose, yeah, dangerous. Brake pads are good, they're being checked, everything in the frame seems okay, and it means I can give it a good clean up, so that is a good thing. And But the carburetor, unfortunately, is not so good. It's full of water. All that white stuff you can see in there is basically poo, water. All the water's got into the top of it. And it's also got into the motor from there. So I don't know if the carb is salvageable. And there's the frame. The frame actually looks pretty good. It's got a bash plate. Being a CT ag bike, we can um, get that running again. No problem. Clean it all up. Give it a bit of a freshen up. It'll be a great little bike. Needs a new clutch cable, the clutch, clutch cable is completely seized. And on checking the engine, when I pulled it apart, water started coming out of the inlet, which is not good. Yellow, as you can see, that's all water and rust. So you can imagine what the valve is going to be like, which I also need to clean up. And also, by the looks of it, it was coming out the exhaust as well, because the exhaust isn't exactly friendly either. We're going to have to clean all that up, pull it apart, and hopefully we can get this motor to turn. But it still needs a bit of work yet. That's, ne that's the next step, pull down the engine. That's going to be my... But the top of it looks really good. The cam looks really good. The cam chain looks really good. No parts there destroyed. The points, which are on top of the motor on this one, instead of the bottom, like the newer ones, are really good. They're in good condition. And I've just purchased all of the gear to update the spark plug to a larger size because a heli core set is way too expensive and unnecessary. But it could do with a better spark. And also, the clutch lever is completely seized. So that side of the motor is going to have to come off as well. So, that's the progress and that's where we're at. And I'll keep you informed and keep on doing the best we can with it. Signing off for this particular occasion and the next video will be on the engine strip down which I've already started okay see you later